Hello guys, in this video we are looking at a practice problem on how to calculate the volume of an acid or a base during a neutralization reaction or titration. So let's jump right into it. The key here is to understand that at the equivalence point or end point of the titration we are going to have the same concentration of hydroxide ions or OH minus ions as protons or H plus ions. Okay, so what is the question? What volume of 3.92 times 10 to a negative second mole per liter sodium hydroxide aqueous solution can be neutralized with 35 milliliters of 0.532 mole per liters of nitric acid? So what are the steps? Well, first step, as always, let's write the balance reaction. So we start with sodium hydroxide, which is Na. OH and it is an aqueous reaction so it is aqueous plus we have nitric acid do you guys know what is the formula for nitric acid it is HNO3 right it is also going to be aqueous what are the products of a neutralization reaction well we will always form water and this is a liquid plus an ionic compound or salt in this case NaNO3 which is also aqueous as it is soluble in water so step one is done what is step two we have to list the known value so what do we know we know the molarity of sodium hydroxide which is 3.92 times 10 to the negative second mole per liter and we have some information about the nitric acid we know that we used up 35 milliliters of it and the concentration is 0 0.532 mole per liters okay what is step number three we have to determine the moles of the acid well we are given the volume we are given the molarity so we know that the molarity is calculated by the moles divided by the liters of the solution so liters so from here we can simply calculate the moles of the acid by knowing the volume and the molarity so the moles of HNO3 will equal to the molarity multiplied by the liters of the solution the molarity is 0 0.532 mole per liters and we don't know the liters but we know the milliliters so 35.0 milliliters that we can convert using our conversion factor into liters and we know that one liter is actually 1000 milliliters so if you do this calculation you are going to get 1.86 times 10 to the negative second moles of age and O3 okay awesome so as i said at the beginning the moles of h plus equals to the moles of oh minus so it's really easy in this case to determine the moles of the base from the mole ratio what is the mole ratio here well we just have to look at the balance reaction and it is one to one so the moles of HNO3 actually equals to the moles of sodium hydroxide in this case but if the mole ratio would be different we could use the following calculation 1.86 times 10 to a negative second moles of HNO3 multiplied by a fraction from the mole ratio so the moles of HNO3 NO3 are on the bottom, moles of NaOH on top, and the ratio is 1 to 1. So the moles of NaOH is the same, 1.86 times 10 to negative second moles. Okay, so now I have the moles of the base, and I actually also have the concentration of the sodium hydroxide aqueous solution so i can use the same formula for molarity 
to actually calculate the liters of the solution. Or we can say we can calculate the volume of an AOH aqueous solution. So from the molarity equation, we know that the volume can be calculated by taking the moles divided by the molarity. Okay, so now let's plug the numbers in. So we have 1.86 times 10 to the negative second moles of NaOH, and the molarity is 3.92 times 10 to the negative second mole per liters. Okay, now if you do this calculation, you are going to get 0 0.475 liters, which we can convert into milliliters. And if we do that using the following conversion factor, liter on the bottom, milliliters on the top, one and 1,000, we are going to arrive to 475 milliliters. So that is the final volume of the sodium hydroxide aqueous solution. Okay, I hope this makes sense. See you in the next video.